Six deaths are now connected to a growing public health crisis tied to vaping. The newest, deaths, newest death is in Kansas, where health officials say a patient who used e-cigarettes recently died of lung disease. The exact cause of that illness is under investigation. The CDC says it's looking at more than 450 cases of vaping-related illness across the country. Three of those cases are in Houston, where Janet Shamlian is at the city's health department. Janet, what's happening there? Anthony, good morning. Well, the city's health director is calling these illnesses an outbreak, and the CDC is reporting at least 33 states and the U.S. Virgin Islands have cases of this severe lung illness directly tied to vaping. Hawaii and Idaho announced their first cases on Tuesday. Now, some of these involve vaping both nicotine and marijuana, and this morning, the fear is the number of cases will rise. This is a new outbreak which is occurring across the nation. Houston's there health director talked about the expanding epidemic tied to vaping. Its exact cause still unknown, but in three confirmed cases, there's one specific connection. What are the commonalities in these cases? So the commonality that we're seeing in these cases, unfortunately, is that all of them are young people. This is the age when people you know, start making their life choices, and this is a bad choice. The CDC reports more than 20% of high school students use or have used vaping products. 17-year-old Whitney Livingston was hospitalized two weeks ago in Dallas. She and her mother blame her two-year vaping habit for her severe lung injury. The ventilator was the best thing because she could not breathe on her own. The deadly respiratory disease that has now claimed six lives across the U.S. is impacting people of all ages. The Kansas Department of Health says a patient over 50 who did have pre-existing conditions died as a direct result of vaping. Others becoming sick have been young and in good health. Idaho and Hawaii reported their first illnesses Tuesday. And the American Lung Association is out with a new warning. Do not use e-cigarettes. I think the Lung Association is giving very sensible advice. Stanton Glantz, professor of medicine at the University of California, San Francisco, says it's time for the Food and Drug Administration to act. So far, they've, they've, they've expressed a lot of concern, but they haven't yet issued a single regulation about e-cigarettes. At this time, no specific product or ingredient can be definitively linked to these illnesses, and that's a big problem for investigators looking at this. Doctors here say of the three people who've gotten sick, they are recovering, but they're not certain whether they will ever fully recover. Tony? Frightening. Janet, thank you very much.